<laughs> well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old timey country down home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey there, everybody. This is Jackie Bros. Folks, people, this is Dunlap. I host the Red State Update podcast. This is my friend, Jackie Bowles. I let him sit in on some of these every once in a while. Oh, he's sitting. He, I'm always on here. I, I have to sit. I, I can do it just every now and then. Typical boomer. I'll get up and go if that's the case. Where you going to go, old man? Home. What do you mean, home? Where you going to go? Where old people like to be? Home. Facebook? Where? Listen. Jackie? What? Are you... If you've never listened to the Red State Up podcast, Red State Up podcast before, the Red State Update podcast before, let me tell you what it's all about. Jackie Brawls, who's sitting right here next to me, is wearing overalls. He has a big, thick, gray beard. It's full of mustard. All right. Just shit. No, sausage just, gravy. I'm, a, I'm up there in the age of wear overalls. I got a gray beard. What's your, what's your point? What are you trying to do? It smells like buttermilk. All is right. it? Is there buttermilk in there? Did don't he have smell buttermilk? my beard then. If you don't like a smell of it, don't smell my beard. Just keep a, hold your nose, put a clothespin on it or something. If you think it smells not to your liking, then don't smell it. Well, then how will I update? Does Jackie's beard smell like buttermilktoday.com? What? I don't even. But if you look at this old grumpus you would think that old man he loves trump no nope. he goes to the nope. rallies no i kisses. don't i only been to one of those and that's because we were doing this mess and then it made me think twice about you know doing this i anymore. don't even say i've been to one i will we went to the one people in, say you ever been to a trump rally i go no i went to one up new new hampshire once was enough that was too much good lord of money Back in, that was before he's president, see? Now, back in, everybody thought, well, look at this joke. Isn't this Just say stupid? you ain't yep. been to one. What? Don't go into all this. We li- thought he was funny. But I ain't going to lie We to went anybody. to cover how terrible it was, and it was it's well, awful. Just don't, you don't need to go into any of that. Just well, say, I ain't never been to one. Well, I ain't going to lie to people. That's what people say on Twitter. Huh? And then the next thing you know... Absolutely no repercussions. Jackie. What? So that's the Red State Update podcast in a nutshell, folks. I we don't like the president. Trump. Yes, that We're terrible. on here to yell. Jackie. I'm a decent human being. I can't speak for you over there. He, not you listening, him sitting here. Oh. Uh, and I was like, and, why are you coming I, down so hard on the audience? Well, I ain't. It's you. I'm coming. You, you, that you, makes you're sense. You're a mess. I that did. tracks. Sometimes I wonder why you don't love him because you'd awful or used to be more awful just like him. What are you, somebody on Facebook asking who we're even doing this for at this point? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just saying. I've heard that a lot of times. What are you, you going to th- tell me you don't like Trump? I'm like, uh, people change, especially my character in the last four years. Well, yeah. And yeah. for the better, if you, if you, there just ain't nothing worth a damn about the man. If you're halfway decent human being, there ain't no way you can like it. If you like someone that lies and, and crazy as hell and just destroyed our country. Well, he's destroyed it. He's already destroyed it. It's destroyed. Yeah, there's no fixing it. I don't care if you, whoever you, if somebody gets elected, it's all downhill from hey, here. They you, could make a Hamilton too. It will not matter. It's not, yeah, this is this is it. It's not, nothing's going to change back. Nope. There's nothing we're trying to get back to. I don't know what Biden thinks is happening. We ain't going back to that. He's like, I dodged one heart attack of a presidential candidate. Now I can steer the country safely back to 2008. You can't. Oh, I don't care who, who gets it, even if it's Bernie. By the way, Bernie Sanders, hope you get a swift recovery. Uh, he's not. He, he's okay though, right? He's in, had to, had some problems. He says he's he's tweeting. Well, good. Well, whatever. As long as it, I, you know, everybody. <laughs> I wants don't him. know if that means it's okay or not. I'm serious about this. Now, I, I, I'm always had reservations about him being president, but I definitely want him part of the mix. I like him out there in the middle of it. I, 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 I miss Do you him. You like an old man yelling? It's well, like looking in a mirror. Depends on a socialist mirror. Depends on what they're yelling, but I do. Yeah, and I, you know, and Biden don't. Yell enough, and if I really liked old men yelling, I might like 
the the damn president because that's all he seems to do. Look, Biden, you can't yell with a mouth full of that many teeth. Yeah, yeah. He's got to lose some teeth before he can start yelling real good. We could have a second, a third, fourth of July. It won't matter. With like it just increasingly awesome fireworks. The damage is done, no, folks. Yeah, it's over with. The damage is done. Now, could it strive to be something better? Possibly. possibly. Is it going to be like Star Trek? Or that? Probably not. But maybe that's the only way. It's either going to get way, way better or just be worse forever. But as long as there's computers out there and people saying stuff on it and someone saying this and another news channel saying this and one saying that and there's two different, different damn worlds going on at the same time, that hate one another, I don't know how we're going back from this. And the the, 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 the president of the office has already been destroyed. He did that on his own, but it took all the people on the computer to put him where he was at. They had to sign off on it on Facebook. Yeah. Just like, oh, I guess this is okay. I really thought that computers, you talked about Star Trek, by now weren't they supposed to be making our food and letting us play private detective. We're supposed to make food real fast. It's on, on an enterprise. And you, oh, you just open the thing and it's all ready for you. The computer's supposed to make food real, real fast. That would have been great. That much better than this. I don't. What does it do? A computer's all they're doing is just making people awful, as far as I can tell. I it, didn't know Russia was going to control the computers. That's one thing we didn't see coming. Yeah. Well, in Star Trek, Russia's okay. They work for each, you know, what's his name? Scotty? No, Scotty is, uh, what's his name? The the, the Russian. Uh, Russian-y? No, that ain't his name. Chekhov, Chekhov, Chekhov. Yeah, that's, that's it. almost the same as Russian. Well, yeah, but he he was good. So Russia, by the by Star Trek time, maybe he's the only good. No, they're all good. Yeah, all of is there a planet Russia in Star Trek? No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm slopping on that. There's planet Germany. I remember them slopping one planet. Everybody oh, was Nazi right. on them, but I, I don't remember them that going to Russia. It turns out the Twilight Zone, if Star Trek was a Twilight Zone, that would have just been like 2019 Cleveland. Yeah. No offense, Cleveland. Well, I mean. Well, I'll take Star Trek over this. I say that right now. Even with monsters, uh, you know, bothering you apparently every now and then. But now we have a permanent monster that has destroyed the United States of America and continues to to just you know just making a mess. I mean, like like he's making poo poo doo doo mess on the Constitution and all in the old office. That's what it is. He's doing it with his mouth, though. <laughs> Might as well swap it around the other way around. That's. I mean. Hey, maybe you're right. That does sound like something I would enjoy seeing. No, no, I don't. Ain't nothing about him. So you're saying that seeing. it's coming out his mouth, and it's it's the it, it, whatever's coming out of his mouth has about the same worth that comes out the other end of him. Is what am I saying? I'm saying they're both the same. I really enjoy the scatological and the grotesque, but we got to get off this, or I'm gonna I'm gonna be sick. Huh? I'm sick every day. You gonna be sick right now? Turn on the damn no! What is great? What is he screaming today? He's- Jackie, last week we were excited, impeaching. It was impeaching time. Well, they're still, they're still doing it. Hopefully, in the middle of it, we'll see what happens. But and uh, it's just like I said. I think I said this. It's gonna get worse. The worse it gets, he's gonna get worse. And good God Almighty, way it's like in a in a conjuring movie, or an exorcist movie, yeah. or a demon possession. How many of those are there? Or there's a demon in What is it? Halloween? Omen. I like that. And that's the only one I... Oh, uh, oh Atticus, yeah. But he is a, he's a devil. He's a devil kid. Yeah. Omen. That's, he yep. ain't got a de- devil in him. He is a devil. Now, Atticus, Atticus Finch about to kill him at the end. I thought it was going to be good in it. And no, they they kill Atticus Finch instead. And, and Omen, that's how we got Trump. And it, Yeah. Pretty much. Omen goes on about his business, I guess. That's a good Halloween. There's a lot of ladies' Halloween movies is what you're talking about. Well, but just when the priest comes in, like the demon's sitting there, right? The bedroom's dark, and the demon's in the in a little kid going, rip, 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 rip. Yeah, yeah. and then the priest opens the door. He's like, hey, I'm a priest. I'm here to get that demon out of you. And that demon goes, blah, 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 blah. remember? 
I, you exorcist all that. Yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, 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 you get out of here. They said worse than that. And don't repeat it. Yeah. Get out of here, you stupid all idiot. All right, all right, yeah. Or whatever. I get your point. What are you trying to blah, say? Blah, 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 blah. That's what Trump's doing right now. They said, we're here to impeach. Adam Schiff shows up like an exorcist poster. And he walks in there. He's like, I'm, we're here to impeach you. And Trump goes, blah, 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 blah. By the end of it, that's what it's going to be. If it ever is an end or whatever happens, if he if, if don't set off a nuclear bomb before then, I'm telling you, this man would do that. If it Wait. was between him, it ain't Nixon sitting up late at night all worried to death, what should I do, and drinking and think, dreaming about his mama, whatever the hell he did. It, 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 this man's crazy. If they tell him you're going to have to resign tomorrow. Well, how about this? Yeah. Hit the button. Damn right. He'd do it in a heartbeat. I know we've been talking a lot about And half of the people that vote for would be happy he did it. Bring it on. Yeah. Death well, cult. It's a death cult. I don't. What else is it? Tell me what the hell else it is. Listen, we've been talking a lot about civil war. We've been talking about him staying in office. We've been talking, like, you throw out the martial law and the damn. Alligators and snakes in the wall. <laughs> Shoot them in the legs. What, what, why would you not put past him hitting the nuclear codes? He would. As soon as he got elected, well, it was one of the first things he did. He's down there in Marb Go logo, and he had the the football, they call it, what they call it, and they're passing it around, showing it to everybody. And what? And he's still president. He is still president. That, that was like a week into it. <laughs> can you imagine? I Listen, I'm tired of saying, can you imagine if Obama did no. that? There's no point. It's not there. a fun game anymore. Nope. But can you imagine if Obama was showing around the nuclear football? I mean, that's what they thought he was going to do. That's like every racist fantasy come to life, but it's in this old white man. I mean, that's birth of a nation showing the the goddamn nuclear football around. Your mouth. But it's the old white guy. Crazy as hell. That's doing it. And, it. and the Republicans sitting by just idly by. I know y'all back behind the scenes scared to death, the shaking and this and that. But the hell with each one of you. I hope you all have are feeling worse than him because you deserve to. People that know better. Miss, Mr. Lindsey Graham, you know better. Well, we I know used to what... have respect for him. He's one Repu- I had, I, I, well, I, and he wants to go to war with everybody. But other than that, I think he believes what he believes. But now he's so far up. His, the other one's really, it's just pitiful. Mitt Romney got half a, you know, barely brave enough to say something. Well, Grassley said something like, no, this is the whistle, because he's breaking a law every damn day. He breaks a law when he says things. And you can make excuses. Oh, he's joking. Oh, he did. Oh, now he's crazy as hell. So a few of them are saying something. Then you got people like who, who the Jim Jordan. Good Lord. It, it, him. And st- who did he put on TV? You still got all the, his people, all the president's men in this this version, except they're all just it's, they're messed up in the head, seriously. Deranged. Why won't Jim Jordan put on a jacket so that people don't think he's wearing a wire? See, think that he's been in... Special- Everywhere he goes, he, the deep state's after him. See? Deep State or SVU, somebody is coming after Jim Jordan and he wants everybody to know he ain't wearing a wire. But he should put on a jacket because it's weird. It's like Glen Gary, Glen Ross, like community theater. Like he should he should have a jacket on. At least one time, yeah. What was that guy's name? Tony Romas? Who? Which one who is Jim Jordan and Glen Gary Glen Ross? I don't know which one he is. Tony Romas? Red Lobsters? A lot of gross people who can't find the courage to... Uh, Lindsey Graham, we know. We read that article. Lindsey Graham likes the president calling him. He he lives in a place that everybody loved the president, so he lives in a crazy place, evidently, and he and I guess I have to be crazy now, and so be it. That's what we got. He, he gets on TV. He says the worst possible things, totally contradicting everything he said when he was running for president. Yep. Remember when he was running for president against Trump? He said he, the same thing with you and I did. He's a bigot. He's going to destroy the damn party. He, he's all been in, he said it on all. the podcast. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, we sure we could have had him on. But instead, he was on the little debates. Remember that? A little, a big debate, little debate. They had the little debates, and it was like. <laughs> That's where Lindsey had to that's go. That's where Lindsey Graham had to go. Now, 
Lindsey Graham, born in a bar. Remember, like, you're going to die alone in a bar. Yep. You're going to be sitting at the edge of the counter, just like nursing margaritas. People going to say, who's that old man? Is he dead? Like, nope, that's Lindsey Graham. He's going to die here someday, and we're going to have to drag his dead ass out to the curb. Yeah. The last human contact he'll ever have is me dragging his dead ass out to the curb because no one loves him because he kissed Trump's ass so much. Ain't worth a damn as far as I'm concerned. That's what the Republican... There is no Republican Party said this has been in town before, too, but there ain't no, ain't no GOP, ain't no Republican Party. It's all him. And either you climbing up in there or, or you ain't. So figure out what you're going to be. They're going to make a new party. What, what kind of party is Romney going to be a part of? I don't know. It's better than this, whatever it is. Even Mitch McConnell acted weird. He said, well, we'll have to have it on the floor. Well, there are flakes. Remember flakes? Who Flake, was that? Flakes. Was he the one that looked like? Who was used to be Speaker of the House? Now he just golfs and drinks. That's, that's Paul Ryan. Yeah, yeah. No, not Paul Ryan. The one before oh, Paul Ryan. Oh, Boehner. Boehner. Yeah, Boehner. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he, that's all he did. Flakes, he is, was. Flakes is like a Boehner looking. A lot of orangey Republicans. Yeah, you would think Flake would, you know, take the Trump just for that reason alone. Pigment reasons. Orange recognize orange, but. No, he said he ain't no good. I'm going to vote with him every which way he says, but still he ain't no good. And then he left, and then he's saying, he's saying there's about 30, 30 of them that would, would vote him to get him out of there if it was in private or whatever. Pitiful little, just pitiful That's not coward. how it works. No. Why, they, they, why did you take the job? If you, there were no consequences and nobody would ever know I did it, hell yeah. Half of them would do it. I'd say half. I would save the nation that I swore an oath to protect and serve. But I can't. Not like this. I no, can't right now. No. I wish I could help you, but I can't right now. No. Uh-uh. Like they're getting hit up for a dollar outside McDonald's. Like, I can't. I just spent all my money. All I got is cards on me. He's handing the nuclear football around. He's passing it around literally to his guests. His drunk people, half of them are spies that are broken down. And just re- no, I can't. Half of them literally are dressed like Spy versus Spy from Mad Magazine. He's like, look here. But he hates spies that aren't spies. But he loves spies that are actual spies. Yeah. He wants to kill spies that are actual whistleblowers trying to save a country. Wants to execute. Wish we go back in the old days where I could, you know. Kill and, whoever I wanted. That's basically what it's saying, yeah. And and no, you're going to let a president say that. Good God The imagine. president, let's see, he told Russia that he had no problem with them interfering in the campaign. He said, we do it all the time. Fair he, game. It's I get it. It's fine. Yeah. He's got his attorney general, his attorney general. I don't guess we have an attorney general. No, the country doesn't have an attorney general anymore. Uh, uh, Looks like the president's got one. And Mike Pompeo, who has, I'm hoping, completely miscalculated whatever he's going to get out of doing this. Not that he's supposed to be some super smart guy. He's the Benghazi guy. Yeah. He's the Benghazi guy. We're like, why is Trump sabotaging his presidency over these conspiracy theories. He's surrounded by Benghazi guy. Where's it? Where's the the place that Superman goes into and everything's opposite? What you call that? Bizarro world. He's like that with Norm on chairs. Pompeo is yeah. Bizarro Norm. Yeah. He remind me every time I see me. They remind me Norm on chairs. But like a Norm that's not nice and doesn't yeah. make you feel good. Yeah. 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 Bizarro Norm. You're yeah. right. That's what. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Like instead of walking in, everybody goes, Norm. He walks in and everybody goes, Jesus Christ, let's get out of here. Let's go. It's bizarro, Norm. Yeah, fat people are supposed to make you feel good. No. no ain't one fat person. And they all, now that I think about it, besides Stephen Miller, all of them pants, I don't guess. He's fit for his age, isn't he? Pants ain't. Okay, never mind. I thought they was all fat for a minute. I but. feel like pants is Flanders-like if you take his shirt off. No, I don't want to take any other shirt Listen, off. we shouldn't body shame. No. I don't mean to body shame. I just, I'm just saying that it, but we the, do a the president's bit. fat, uh, the just, attorney general fat, and so is Pompeo. All three of them are fat is what I'm saying. 
They're the most dangerous ones anyway. I will say that. The three of them, that's the most. Well, Stephen Miller a little bit because they listen to him. He's just like finding his way through the cracks. Trump came out. He was a, Trump was racist. Made some pro- racist promises. And then Stephen Miller found a way to completely take advantage of everything Trump like, cause somebody could have got in there, cause Trump is so stupid. He's racist, though. Oh, I ain't yeah, saying he ain't yeah, racist. He is. He, but somebody could have manipulated Trump in like some other direction if they if they were smart enough to. But he's pretty racist, so that's why he likes to cling to that racist stuff. But Stephen Miller found the way to manipulate him just to be so fucking Nazi racist. It's I crazy. Know. Snakes. Alligators, spikes, what else? I, Stephen Miller. Shoot them in the legs. I mean, that all makes sense because Trump is so stupid, but also because those are like Stephen Miller's only friends. I mean, he got, he's like fucking Harry Potter. He goes to the zoo and all the snakes are like, hey, what's up, Steve? How you doing, man? Looking good. So, yes. <laughs> snakes and Stephen Miller. Yeah. President of Finland. That poor man. Speaking of people who could use a friend. Pitiful poor man. First off, you're president of Finland. First off. That's, that in itself is, you know, it, it's got to be troublesome in, in ways that I, I can't even imagine. I don't know if it's a tough row to hold, but it's a row to yeah. hold. Yeah. You have to hold that row. Yeah. And he, look, I get embarrassed looking at him talking on the television. I Can you imagine being standing by him? And knowing the entire world's watching you and this crazy man who I can't upset or say is crazy or he will destroy my country quite possibly. Whether, you know, financially or tariffs or whatever the hell. I have to have to put on good, this poor man from, from Ukraine, you know. I don't know what these people are like in real life. If they're good or bad. I wish one of them would stand up and do a love actually. And really stand up in one of these press conferences to Trump. None of them are going to do it. No. Because if they do, Trump's going to be like, hey, how do we Chernobyl them? How do I Chernobyl Finland? So I'd be scared too. Yeah. The fuck Ukraine got Russia taking like their whole eastern half. I know. I, he needs like, a tank. which way they're trying to get I need a t- tank. I need a tank, yeah. Sure, one, sure. Can I have one tank, please? Sure. No. We'll look at a who bite. What? Oh, that don't make any sense. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. It's like being on an elevator with a QAnon person. You just laugh and smile and be like, when, when's the 12th floor coming up? It's a slow ass elevator. It, just modern democracy, modern diplomacy with Trump is like being stuck on an elevator with a, with a crazy person. Yeah. Because it is. And we are. I can't imagine if the message you get. America's calling the president's on the phone. Okay, what did he say? What did he say? He said he's sending over Rudy Giuliani. What? what? Why? Just, just deal. Trust me. Just okay. We'll we'll get the tanks, but just when he gets over here, just to act like you know. What is Crowd Strike? Was he Thor in the nineties? I don't know what half that crazy stuff he talks about is. I, he, it's bad enough you got the crazy people out there saying crazy things. What makes it worse? The damn president is crazy as all of them and believes this, excuse my language, mess. Again, we're throwing out a lot of slurs here. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to save all my inappropriate slurs for the president of the United States. It's not cool. I ain't saying it's cool. We're just trying... We, I don't know how to express myself. I don't either. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have, know a better way to do it. It's like old, uh, old Robert De Niro on, on CNN. I don't appreciate that language at all, but I don't know how else to say what you need to say when it comes to this mess. Even the president's cussing. When I say the president, I mean Trump. I bullshit. Hey, what do you say? Tweeting bullshit? Yeah. He got Wolf Blitzer to say bullshit on CNN. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't want. Nah, I'm that's the same. Now, like, I'm now. Don't give him any credit for anything. But if you're going to, that's about all he could do. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to encourage people to say bad. Quit bringing it up because it tickles me, and I don't like. But I'll bad say language. this: if Wolf Blitzer 
had an ounce of journalistic credibility at some point, and he does. At some point, they all are like, I, I don't know what I'm reading anymore. Janice, back to you. But Wolf Blitzer should have said, this is all bullshit. Like, three years ago. He said, welcome back to the bullshit report, I guess. My name's Wolf Blitzer. Here's a bunch of fucking nonsense. Hey, Can you believe mouth. this? What are y'all sitting on your couch for? Ain't y'all got fucking hey. pitchforks? Watch your mouth. See, I knew if I started, I shouldn't have laughed. I shouldn't have laughed. He's like, it's a coup. It's a coup. Half the president's of- always like a coup. That's what happens when like a power mad narcissist takes office. Everybody says anything about all the criminally things he's doing. It's a coup. Civil War. We're going to start another Civil War. He's ready to, ready to get going. If they mess with me once, guess what that's going to be? Civil War. Hope uh, y'all like Civil War. He damn Republic. Every one of you miserable pieces of... Yeah. He's got... Listen. This is how fucking stupid he is. Sorry, Watch Jackie. your mouth. Watch your mouth over and over again. I don't the Mueller hit. report came out for two fucking years. Hey. That was going to be the end. Nail in the coffin. Can you wait for the Mueller report? Mueller report comes out... Nobody gives two fucking shits. Hey, hey. We sat here. We listened to it. Nothing happened. He got away with it. He beat the Mueller report. He cannot let it rest. He gets on the phone. But Bill Barr. But why do I still want to call him Bob Barr? He just seems like a Bob Barr to me. Uh, Bob's big boy is how he looked like. He looked like big That's boy. That's it. Like a really ashen Bob's big boy. Yep. That's See, what it is. Like, me, like a, a lifetime of eating Bob's big boy, yep. you turn into Bob Bill Barr. Yeah. Hey, Bob Barr. Bizarro Norm. Get on a plane because y'all going to Carmen San Diego this shit. You're going to hop all over the fucking globe. Indiana Jones style. Like, I'm, I want to see an arrow on a map, like goddamn family circus, and you go into every fucking country, start with Australia, because Bob Barr, you look like what the inside of a kangaroo's pouch looks like. All right, watch your mouth. And I want you to go and find out how this Mueller shit got started. And if you come back and say it's my fault, don't come y'all back. Y'all fat asses is out on a goddamn long. And they're doing it. Oh, can you tell me? <laughs> they go they go for an Australia. Oh, by the way, while I'm over here. This isn't even funny. I mean, we are having, we keep talking about Civil War, all this stuff, but he's going to pull a goddamn nuclear bomb. Watch your mouth, yeah, but I won't be. Are you going to be surprised when it does it? That's the thing. I think we will still be a little surprised. I don't think we've talked about it enough. I think that, that, that. People will be like, I, I didn't think he was going to go that far. His best buddy testing a damn missile today. His best buddy, who he fell in love with, is testing nuclear weapons that they didn't realize. From what I understand, we didn't know they had them this advanced yet. They're bragging about it. Maybe he don't have to do He can ask somebody else. He can get on the phone with his best buddy and say, do this. I need, you know. You know what? I'm just going to get you do it. Take it. Kim Jong-un, you've earned it. You get our bomb us, and you get whatever is a dead of radiation. He sent him Bill Barr and 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 bizarre boy bizarro Noam around the damn world, and it's not even just for him; it's for Putin as much. You gotta you gotta understand. That's true. It. It's he, not just he's for also him. working for Putin because there's no way that Putin could have helped him win. You have to make make them all come around on that. And while he this is literally going on today. Uh, Putin's on TV somewhere or another and making a joke like, oh, we did, but we're going to do it in 2020. <laughs> Smiling and winking at the camera, being cute about it. So he's out there covering for him. Kim Jong-un is his best buddy. And also just recently that reporter, Khashoggi, is just oh, an yeah. anniversary of that poor man. Those are his friends. Yeah, the people that do that. That's who. That's what friends are now. And, and he, people that support him and Republicans do not have any issues with this in no. public anyway. No, his friends are all the dictators and the murderers and the missile launchers. His uh, henchmen are on airplanes squeezing out of a restroom. Bob Barr coming out like, don't go in there. What What I miss? Pompeo going, well... 
Putin just said everything we're trying to discredit, they're going to do again in 2020. And then he winked. Anybody who tries to help Trump, this is the other thing. Like, why have they not learned this? Anything you do to help this man. You eventually get kicked to the car, but he'll throw you under the bus. He's throwing Pence under the bus over this Ukraine stuff. You ain't saying the end of this yet. Now, Pence is... They're, are they going to put Nikki Haley? Would Nikki Haley take this job? At this point, I don't know if she'd do it. Now, she thinks there's some way she can get in there and get rid of him and, and smooth things out and save her public party. If she convinces herself she can do that, maybe. Maybe. But she got a hell of a road to hoe. I tell you, she, ain't no way. Uh-uh. If you're a Republican, you're either a deluded or a coward. That's it. One of the two. You ain't anything in between. Mitt Romney can't figure it out. He he goes back and forth He's a little bit. He's deluded and a coward. He, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Grassley, every one of you awful. I tell you what, just people that I used to think represented my party and my people and, and just all of them pitiful, just miserable people. Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio. You think he going to get on a Twitter twitter and, and put a Bible verse off after the first the, the bomb goes off? That's all you're going to get out of Marco Rubio. That's it. If that's what you want, fine. But you ain't going to get nothing else out of him. That's it. Well, I will say this. Yeah. As bad as things are, I'd rather listen to Marco Rubio read a tweet of a Bible verse than a tweet that's a Nickelback song. Everybody, is Jackie Bro still on here? Folks, people, it's Dunlap. Welcome to the second half of the Red State Update podcast. Thanks for bearing with us while we got a few things off our chest. Yep, yep. Um, well, now, now we're going to take a do something a little different. This is our local sponsors here at Murphy's Bro. They help us keep the lights on. They give us twenty five dollars, and uh, they just we couldn't do it without them. I tell you that right now. We and have- we like giving to the people who listen who may not know about Murfreesboro. And That's some true. of the local businesses and shine a light on some of the Murfreesboro flavor. I That's call right. It. Yeah, if you're traveling through, this is good for local people to know about too. But obviously, if you're traveling through, we maybe you get a good idea where to go eat, something to check out, something to look. You did a lot of things here in Murfreesboro. We're happy to to help them out because they help us out, and we appreciate that. We also get a little help on our what's it called. The thing. Patreon. That's right. All it give us five dollars or more a month. You get this one. You get a, a one that nobody else gets but you. Called twenty extra minutes with uh, uh, Jackie and Dunlap. That's us right here. If you get done with this podcast, and you're like, man, that was not long enough, and I'd love to hear them just sort of peter out for yeah. twenty extra minutes. Yeah. Then you want to get over there and partner with us with uh, five measly dollars a month you get the extra 20 extra minutes with jackie dunlap sometimes it's longer never shorter maybe once well maybe maybe one maybe time, once a few it minutes, was shorter. So sometimes it's a lot longer though. sometimes so it's you a never lot know longer. you never know but you're gonna get your your, your 20 minutes worth i guarantee you and that. that money also helps us do the podcast that we update fairly regularly called Redneck matinee, uh, where we yeah. talk about some of our favorite Southern movies. So yeah. far, we've focused mostly on the 70s, which was a great era for Southern trucking. Hitting, stick hitting, dirt biking, yeah. van riding movies. We've talked about movie star Mr. Chuck Norris, Mr. Burt Reynolds. God rest your soul, yeah. We talked about uh, White Line Fever. We've talked about uh, Clint Eastwood and a Monkey. We've talked about Jerry Reed. We've talked about uh, Gator and White Lightning and Smokey and the Bandit. We got Smokey and the Bandit 2 coming up soon. We got a movie star in Mr. Andy Griffith called The Face in the Crowd, which will be from the 50s. And we'll be going back a little farther there. And eventually we'll get to the 80s and on and on. We got to do. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot to do. We're going to get to them. Thanks for bearing with us, folks. And uh, if you go over and listen to us talk about these movies, I think you really enjoy it. We we You learn a lot. You listen a lot. That's Redneck Matinee. Learn a lot. You watch a watch lot. Watch a lot. Watch That's a lot. what That's I should have said. You, you, you watch a lot. You learn a lot. 
You listen, listen a listen lot. Listen a lot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Well, I got a good uh, uh, local sponsor, and we, uh, they've been a sponsor before, and I tell you what, I'm glad to have them back on here. You remember old Coley's Cinemas? Now, oh. Coley's, they, they're, they're kind of a, what, a corporation involved they're diversified, in Diversified, I'd Diversified, say. I, that's what you'd say. But they also have a theater here. Uh, the Coley Cinemas, uh, and I tell you what, everybody's been watching this on the TV. I know you've seen it. You've been talking about it. I've seen it a couple of times. It's just coming out this week. It's Joker, Joker thing. This oh yeah, a movie about the Joker. Now tell me one more time. Is it, Batman ain't in it? Uh, well, I ain't seen it yet, Jackie. But I don't think I don't think Batman's in it. I Who's think gonna hit him? Who beats him up? Uh, maybe he beats himself up. Maybe the patriarchy. Beats him up as as it beats all I, of us up. I don't understand. Just uh, 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 him by himself don't make any sense to me. First, well, there's other people in the movie. It's not just like the Joker. Taking but the, a I, I, I mean, like the ba- Batman is who beats him up. Robin helps him sometimes, but Batman beats him up. He does something bad. Batman. That's what they do. I don't. What is he going to do? If there ain't no Batman in it, what's he going to do? Well, uh, where's the Trump's Batman? Huh? Where's Trump's Batman? That guy, that's that you know that's terrible what we're living through. Why do I want to see a movie that reminds me of that? Well, that I don't know. Funny book or not, I don't know. I like an old Joker anyway, but he always got hit in the face at some point or another. I like Jack Nicholas, a uh, uh, Joker, and the old one with the mustache. I like him too. And putting makeup on a mustache is funny, Joker, and it is just like chaos. Yeah. That so, takes that takes some work too to do that just right. Get that mustache makeup on. Yeah, it's it's mind blowing, and it it throws you for a second. And that's all you need really to get away with a bag of money or to hit somebody with a fish. No, he'll get he gonna get smacked in the face or kicked or something. That all it ain't gonna happen. Bam, yeah, bam, boom, yeah. I Comic like that. book movies are back. Well, I don't know about this one. I ain't I ain't seen it. So I, I ain't gonna judge it. I'll go. I'll go see it. You said would I go see it with you? And I will. I, I'm curious. I just don't want to. I just hope he gets hit. Somebody hits him, ain't it? Well, people are worried about this movie, Jackie, because a lot of uh, uh, liberals are say that we don't need male toxicity. The movie. That's probably somebody's line. I just stole off of Twitter. Right. Like why you gonna go see a bunch of incels gonna go see this movie and see the Joker get away with murder or whatever? No spoilers. I ain't seen it, but that's how it seems like it. It's gonna be. I mean, like Todd Phillips got away with murder with just having a career. And so now we're going to go watch the Joker just get away with it. A bunch of incels going to be in there. Hell, I'm going to do whatever I want and get away with it. Because there's no gun laws. That don't make any sense. Stand your ground. Castle law. Castle law. All you had to do was put Batman in it. Even if it just comes in the last five minutes, if it's a whole Joker, that's fine. Then come in at the end. And knock the hell out of him. That's what, I mean, then you wouldn't have all these people saying this. Because Joker's bad, he does a bad thing, but Batman's got to hit him, knock the hell out of him and hit him in the face at some point in time. Uh, there ain't no reason to point to it as far as I'm concerned. I ain't seen this thing, maybe that does happen. Maybe Batman don't show up to the end. He's on vacation or something by the time that he That may back. be it, he's on vacation. I like know. He took Robin to Hawaii. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But, you know, however you're going to get him out of the picture, I guess that's as good as any. So your sponsor is Batman? No, listen, I was talking about this Joker movie. Let me get back to it. I ain't seen this Joker yet, so I don't mean to judge it. I don't understand it. But I tell you, uh, a Joker, another Joker movie that's coming out same time. Now hear me out here, and I ain't seen this one either. But I guarantee you, this one's gonna be good. It's playing exclusively at Coley Cinema. It is Christian Joker. Oh, well now wait a minute. Now is this Coley's Coley? Coley's vision or whatever they do to the movies. They go oh, that's... in, they change, because some movies are too much, you know, if you regular church go away and it's too much, you, Coley's would, you know, it's a shame that Christians miss out on so much. Devout Christians miss some things because they don't want to upset God. So Coley goes in. And that's not just movies. That's everything. a lot of good yeah. stuff. Well, Coley's one thing they can make better is movies and they've been doing it for years they'll take a movie if they could fix masturbating hey what i just love to hear what it. you that ain't that that ain't what we're talking about listen but, i bet they got somebody working on it right, in R&D. whatever whatever they would take a movie take out the bad parts put in a few good things here and there 
uh, and then then you got the college version of it. So uh, they've done it. R and D is rubbing in dicks department. What? Sh- shut your mouth. And what they got here with this Christian joker? They went and did that. Uh, now they had they got the rights somehow. I don't know how you how do. They all, get the rights. Uh, to they do got Christian the rights joker. to the Christian joker because they want to make money off Christians like everybody else, don't they? I guess that's and, true. You know, it, you know, Mel Gibson can't make every damn movie. So they go, they go over it. Coley's have gone into it, but they said this joke, and this is why I'm skeptical about this. This is the only thing I've heard about it outside of what you said. They said it's so rough that when they cut all the bad parts out of it, it's a rated R for the book movie, too. That's for adults. Grow up, people. Anyhow, they, they said after they cut out all this stuff, uh, all you got left with about 20 minutes of Joker. So what they did... To make Christian Joker, they changed that around what little's left in there. And I tell you what, you know old Wooly Spoon? Yeah, Wooly Spoon. Wooly Spoon, out at old, he's a song leader at an old Highway Post Methodist Church. Now, a Wooly Spoon, they, he, you know, always fancy himself to act. Remember, he used to do Murfreesboro Play Actors Club. He oh, yeah, he things. was. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. I've seen him in Oklahoma twice. Well, it don't cost much to put a suit and makeup on, so they was able to get him, you know. Oh, Wooly Spoon is playing the Joker? He playing it, yeah. Wooly Spoon playing the Joker. Oh, the Christian the Joker. The Christian Joker, yes, in this. Now, there's some of the other, whoever's in the real Joker, whatever it is, some of him's left in it. But he's a li- you know, when you put clown makeup on, everybody looks the same anyway. So it don't, well, as far as likeness and, and height and width or all that, they don't matter. You know, you're looking at the red so nose. you're saying and the- if you put on clown makeup, it don't matter what your, every clown looks the same. It don't matter what your body type is. I mean, there's different kind of clowns. Yeah, but, uh, you know. It's true. When they show, show like Ronald, if you watch like a Ronald McDonald, like Ken Burns, Ronald McDonald, and they go all through all the different Ronald McDonald's, I can't. I don't know who's home. I couldn't tell. The only time I can tell the difference when I all get out of a car, because there's about 20 of them, and, they, you know, they had different hats on, a different, you know, some big shoes, some little shoes on and on. So are you saying he's just dressed, are you saying Wooly Spoon is just dressed up like a a clown, well, not I, even the Joker? I I don't know. He They put him, look, he's in it as a Joker, so I don't know if they made him look just like him. or I hadn't seen this yet. I'm going by what, what they told me. And, and and instead of this Joker, instead of him, you know, doing whatever he does. Mean Joker. La- yeah. What, what did he rob banks or whatever the hell? He sits down and, and prays. Christian Joker, that's what he does. He prays, like, he just gets, gets to the end of his rope, and he remembers something he learned maybe in Sunday school yeah. years ago. remembers back. Or he stops and has a time to where he needs to sit and reflect on things and, and gets the good book and finds a, a you know a particular psalm or whatever that you know helps him get through the Is day. It Christian Joker already a Christian at the beginning of Christian Joker, or does Christian Joker get saved and become Christian? I Joker? don't know. That make me want to even see it more. Yeah, I like to see that. I don't know. I like to see a Joker be. You know, well, they baptized. Um, that would be good to see that. Make does all his come makeup off his come off? Yeah, yeah, yeah off his that's face right. if you that's did. What happens. Yeah. Well, now, like in in Jack Nicholas Joker, he falls in the vat and it skin turns him. Yeah. yeah, he was already mean. No, he was mean, and then it, all of a sudden he had a, a clown face. Hmm. No, I mean the posters for Christian Joker, which I've seen. Yeah, all around town. That we don't have bus stops because uh, Murfreesboro outlawed public transportation. Oh, but, a while back, yeah. But they do uh, have Chick Fil A stops where you can order ahead, and a teenager from Chick Fil A will drive your order over to you. So you have to drive to the Chick Fil A stop, and then a teenager from Chick Fil A drives brings it to you to to you. So it's like double driving, which makes makes people happy. So Murfreesboro Chick Fil A stops. They got posters up, and yeah. the Christian Joker looks really heartwarming. And I think he's eating a Chick Fil A sandwich. I'm not even. Sh- I'm not even sure. It's a Chick Fil A sandwich, but it's a what do you well, no rubber chickens in the in the bread. That's right. Yeah, because it, it's Joe. You know, being silly or whatever. Because he could still you could still laugh and have fun and believe in Jesus. I'm telling you, you, you can't. Well, that's what Wooly 
Spome says all the time. He does. He says it all the time. And he's good. I swear we see him in at the, at the, at the Murfreesboro play at this year. Oklahoma ago. twice. Oklahoma. He did it twice. Yeah, he played uh, Curly. Was that? Yeah, he played what, Curly, and yeah. then he played uh, who's uh, Kansas City man. Yeah. He's good. He can sing. I know that. I don't know if there's any singing in, in, in Christian Joker, but I would I would expect him to break out in him occasionally. Odd couple once. Oh, yeah. That's right. I, he I didn't know. like doing it. They made it where uh, he wasn't divorced. Right. They changed that. Yeah. Uh, I think they called that the Christian Odd Couple. I believe it did. They they changed plays and movies. Uh, one of these days, I'm telling you, he's going to get a hold of the TV. I don't know how he's going to get the rights. And the next thing you know, you'll have a whole cable channel, which I hope I hope happens. We've always liked the Coley's. They've been good to us, and uh, I hope we've been good to them. And I tell you what, I'm excited to see uh, – Christian Joker, yeah, we'll go see regular Joker. All right, well, but we I go t- see Mean Joker and then Christian Joker. Well, that, whatever order you want to see him in, that's fine. I said I'd go see the mean one, but uh, I, t- I tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Christian uh, Joker over at Coley Cinemas. That opens up, it's at, what, a Thursday night. I expect a lot of folks uh, out there to see that because, uh, you know, there's some people. Now, some churches say you can't read comic books at all. You know that, right? They said they're all of the devil. Yeah. But uh, I think old at uh, old Highway Post Methodist Church, I think they're okay now and then. Certain ones. Yeah. Well, well Willie uh, Spoon, if you bring his your comic books to him, he'll read them and tell you yay or nay. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll let you know what you can, what you can. He'll keep the ones that are no good, and he'll give you well, the rest. He yeah. told me once that he was trying to figure out Christian Thanos, but I guess he I guess this jumped to that front of the line. Yeah. But if anybody can do it, it's him. Yeah, hey, I, I'm excited to see it. Uh, and I, and Christian Joker, I'll be seeing it this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to go Thursday night. When, when do you want to go see it? Saturday? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Friday. Every Friday, everybody be out there to see Let's it. Let's go in the morning Sunday, or something. Sunday, Sunday, feels a little safer. Sunday matinee. Sunday yeah. matinee. Okay, right, yeah. Sunday matinee. Well, no better time to see uh, Christian Joker. I expect they'll be busting some of the churches. I know they'll definitely be busting over old Highway Post Methodist Church and probably a couple others. But uh, well, that's fine. I'd like to see uh, Christian Joker with a bunch of uh, fine Christians. Looking forward to it. Well, speaking of Wooly Spoon and the uh, Old Highway Post Methodist Church, Jackie, I got a sponsor this week I think you're really going to like. Wooly Spoon is really working. He said he wanted to own a ha- Christian Halloween this year, and it seems like he's already doing it. He's got Christian Joker going, working with Coley's. Christian Cinemas and Coley Vision. Yeah. And he's got another thing going on, and I guess this is more because Joker's for kids, and I guess Christian Joker's for anyone who loves the Lord. Yeah. But a lot of times, and I know Wooly Spoon worries about this, Halloween has become so secular these days. Well, some churches don't like it at all. Say it's a devil. They don't, you're not even allowed to say the word Halloween. It is demonic the way well, some people uh, all these black cats and the damn uh, skulls and uh, upside down crosses. Yeah, I mean, how many pentagrams when you're going through your kids' candy? You like Snickers, Snickers, pentagram, Snickers, edible Snickers. Well, you some- hear that? They said don't. Watch out, because people are going to be putting edible candy, pot candy, in your kids' bags. Well, not everybody dressed up like a devil or whatever. Some people like, you know, Iron Man or whatever. Some kids like it. Yeah, Some well, I mean, it right. depends on your church. Iron Man, you might as well say Satan Man. Well, you got a point there. Put on a devil suit of high-tech armor. Yeah. And fly around that way. I mean, who flies and wears a suit of high-tech armor? Satan? Wow. I mean, depending on how you read Book of Revelation. Yeah. Well, this year, Wooly Spoon says, I'm the song leader of Old Highway Post Methodist Church. And that don't mean I'm the song leader for just adults. I'm also the song leader for kids. And I know this is a trying time for kids who love the Lord, but also love Halloween. It's become so secular, so demonic. When you're up there and you see Halloween getting too secular in your schools, and too demonic on your playgrounds, give us a call. At one eight hundred Gospel Ghouls, and we will send the Gospel Ghouls direct action team straight over to your playground, school, Sunday school, sleepover, wherever you're at, where you feel Halloween getting too secular and too demonic. 
Well, like a Halloween party or something like that. I no, guess, did the gospel ghouls, Jackie. Wow. Ain't you seen the gospel ghouls at the Chick-fil-A stops on the other side of the Christian Joker poster? I don't know if I've seen that one in the yet or not. Every, every kid in Murfreesboro loves the gospel ghouls. You know the gospel ghouls. Jesus' skeleton, the hymn wolf, the scripture mummy, the preaching vampire. And the creature from the black baptismal pool. You know the gospel ghouls. Oh, yeah. I know. Come back to me. Yeah, it's been, it's been a while since. Yeah. Jesus is, they send him out. Jesus' is skeleton is the dancer. But in a holy way. Not too much. It's not. Yeah, he's not showing off dancing. Yeah. The hymn wolf is a werewolf who when he howls, it sounds like any number of your favorite hymns. The scripture mummy just has it. Written on it. It's like read it all over him, yeah. Like Marco Rubio come down and just, with a sharpie on him. The preaching vampire, you know, it's like, hey, he and, don't he don't bite your neck or suck your blood. He just preaches the good word to you. I think, right? Is that but he works? does it in that voice, Dracula, Dracula voice, in the Dracula voice. All right, okay, for Halloween that sounds oh, yeah. Nicodemus. Uh, blah blah. Now I remember Gospel Girl. I didn't know that was Willie Spoon that did that too. I didn't. Oh, know Oh yeah, that was that. one of his earliest ideas. He left uh, the third production of Oklahoma he'd been cast in to start up Gospel Girl. Well, that makes sense. A good idea. That's good. That's that's fun for the children so they can celebrate uh, Halloween in an appropriate, uh, wholesome way. And still have fun with the monsters and learn about the Lord. And we ain't trying to tell you kids when to get saved. But if you get saved on Halloween weekend, you just get in that baptismal pool and the creature from the black baptismal pool will rise up and drag you down. <laughs> and then you get you get back up. You get them. Well, you get saved and spooked out in a little bit and yeah, fun. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. Being saved doesn't mean you can't be a little scared too. That's what Willie Spoon's uh, breakthrough thought on all this was. It's like, I love the Lord. I love Jesus. I love kids. Let's mix it all up a little spooky. Well, good for Willie Spoon. I'm telling you, that's the that's, that's man that got smarts. He'll, he's going to go a long way. I, you know, I would think he'd go a long way just from his acting and singing, but if he's putting together stuff well, you like can't, this. You got to have an Instagram going too. You yeah. got to brand yourself. You got to have multiple projects in the works at all time. You got to be a multimedia empire. I don't know how that is, but yeah. And he said, he said, if all goes well, there'll be a new gospel ghoul and his name will be Christian Joker. Huh? Because it seems like he'd fit in there. He'd add to it. Yeah, okay. Because well, I... Jesus' is skeleton. By the way, Jesus' is skeleton is not the skeleton of Jesus Christ. That went up to heaven, or so Wooly Spoon believes. Yeah. It's a skeleton that Jesus found and animated to make dance to entertain. It's like a frosty snowman, but except uh -huh. with no hat. Uh -huh. Jesus didn't need no hat or nothing. He don't need nothing like that. He can just, you know. It was one of those times when all the people, this is Wooly Spoon wrote this book. You read Jesus the Skeleton, the kid's book. He wrote the book about the Jesus the Skeleton. He had so many people come to see Jesus and touch a hem of his garment and get cured of leprosy. Yeah. He, they couldn't get to him all, and they were getting restless. They are like, we want Jesus. So he found a skeleton of somebody who didn't get to him in time, and he just gave a little zap, and it stood up and started dancing, entertained people till he could get around and heal everybody. It did some healing, too. I was about to say, it just wasn't dancing, right? If he accidentally kicked you or bumped you while he was dancing, then you got healed, too. And then later, Jesus was like, well, I should have just made him like whirl through the crowd like a Tasmanian devil. But, it, you know, people come a long way for Jesus, not for the bone man. So that's Jesus' skeleton. Yeah. And him wolf, the scripture mummy, preaching vampire, and creature from the black baptismal pool. That's the gospel ghouls, 1-800-GOSPEL-GHOULS. If you feel Halloween getting a little too secular, a little too demonic, call them up. They'll come save your kids for you. Church singing and praising, but 
something happened that was really hair-raising, then Dracula walked right through the door. It'd been bad if just Drac come, but it wasn't just him. It was a whole bunch of them. Frankenstein, the Wolfman, and many more. We hit the deck to play and cower when Wolfman said, I feel the power of Jesus in my heart. Ar, 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 then the mummy showed up and gave us a start. But when he sang, How Great Thou Art, we realized that these monsters love Jesus too. Dracula turned into a bat and said, Jesus died for my sins. We baptized a creature from the Black Lagoon and he wanted to get dunked again. We were scared of them at first, but they were well behaved the day all the monsters came to church and got saved. up three whole pews and Frankenstein was a little confused but the Lord judges souls he don't judge smarts invisible man rededicated his life Chucky joined the church and so did his wife and Freddy Krueger and Jason accepted Jesus in their hearts they took the Lord's Supper and it all went fine till Dracula said I don't drink wine and I told him we're Baptists so neither do we Usually great juice, Kroger private selection, but the song leader's got a slight kidney infection, so he drank cran grape and sang a closer walk with me. Michael Myers said, through Jesus, we are all reborn. Leather face, pinhead, Norman Bates, a cucho and children of the corn. Heaven will be a little scarier when the monsters are dead in their graves. The day all the monsters came to church and got saved. The day all the monsters came to church and got saved.